Good morning, guys. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. Available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and several online retailers. And speaking of books, today I would like to show you how we can upcycle a few of our books. You can upcycle all of your books this way. But what I'm going to do is take these three books that I've had sitting around for a while. Here's a good one. 1999. We're now in 2014, so I think I can safely say I'm not going to be looking in this book. And I am going to show you how we can upcycle these, make them into something pretty with decoupage, and we'll be using a few other items. I'll let you know what those are in a minute. But I wanted to tell you that I was watching a designing show this week and one of the things that this designer was saying on the show was that he often uses paint or books to spruce up any room. And So since these are paperback and they're not especially attractive books and they're not anything I'm going to be using, I'm going to decoupage these, decorate them, and I will use them to spruce up a room, and I'll show you how we can do that. We're going to need some books, and you can do hard copy books or the paperback. I would suggest using a nicer wrapping paper, possibly some pearls. These are little silk flowers that I got in the wedding department. I've got quite a few ribbons here. And this is tool, but I tea stained it. So I took a cup of water, boiled it, and put three tea bags in it. And then I placed this white tool in the cup and just let it sit for a few minutes. And we're going to need a brayer, possibly some gemstones. Have to have our decoupage glue. I'm keeping the hot glue gun handy. Sponge brushes. Scissors. These are decoupage scissors with the curved edge there. But you can use regular scissors if you don't have these on hand. And today I'm going to do a little technique called dry brushing. So I'm going to use, uh, I actually took white paint, white gesso, because gesso is a little on the chalky side, and I added a tiny bit of this aging antiquing medium. I mean a tiny bit inside of here just because I want I want the color to look a little bit aged. Or this is what I'm doing but I want to show you what I'm using just in case you decide to do this. One of my subscribers, hi Sharnisha, <laughs> uh, asked me if I would show in a video how to do dry brushing. So I'm going to show that on this project and you can omit this step or you can also Think, if you like the way it looks, you can also go along with that, in which case you'll need... This is one of the nylon brushes from the paint store. The first thing you want to do is cut the wrapping paper out and just overlap about an inch. It's almost like wrapping a present. So just pretend this is a box, but you'll want to cut the size paper out so that it overlaps an inch on the I'm sorry, I'd say about two inches is probably better on the top, the sides, and the bottom. Now, you can use napkins to do this. You can use fabric to do this. Uh, and you can also use dollar store wrapping paper. Whatever you want is fine. However, if you're using napkins or if your wrapping paper is sheer or the fabric is sheer, or the book cover is a bit loud. It could show through your work. Now, for this project, we're not even going to see the front of this book, but we will see the back. You can always take gesso and just coat this whole thing with the gesso. We're going to put a layer of decoupage glue down. However, I am going to wet this paper. By the way, you'll want to position the paper like if your back is showing, you'll want to position the paper so that it's got the prettiest elements showing. We're going to put decoupage glue just on this surface for right now, just this part. 
and I am going to run this under water. Decoupage glue is on there. I'm going to take my wet wrapping paper and cover, place it over the cover, so I'll cover the cover. And I'm going to take the brayer and from the center out, I'm going to roll excess glue, air bubbles, wrinkles, And I'm going to repeat this process on the side and the back. I'm sorry, the, the spine and the back. Before we set this aside to dry, we're going to take our scissors whichever pair is fine, and decoupage glue, and we're going to fix the inside. Then I'm going to cut the other areas just like I'm wrapping a present. Going to repeat that up top. This is where these smaller scissors come in handy. I'm just going to snip off this little piece here, that excess. And push the edges in. And the book is now decoupaged. It's wet or a little damp, so I'm going to put this aside to dry. While this is drying, I'm going to work on the other two books. That by the way, a very good way to dry this is you can slip the book over a hanger and hang it up over a heater, near a heater, if it's uh, spring or summertime or you don't have the heat on, just place it in the driest area in your house and let it dry. So the, the third book is drying and while these other two are dry, I'd like to show you the dry brush technique. I'll show you what it looks like to experiment with the dry brush technique on this book. So I'm taking the gesso, taking the nylon brush, and I'm going to keep a little bit of paper towel right here. And I'm dipping the nylon brush into the paint and I'm going to get as much of it off as I can. Then I'm going to get a whole lot more of it off on the brush. So that what happens is instead of a saturated brush, the brush is almost dry, but it has a little bit of the paint left on there. And this can add to an aged look. On your book, you may want to go to the areas that would age naturally a bit more, which would be the corners, the edges, and then sporadically around the cover. So that's how that looks if you care to do the dry brush technique.
I am now going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to add a couple of dabs. You know, I really do like that dry brush technique. Thanks, Sharnisha, for suggesting that. It is really pretty. And I'm going to add dots of glue to place my book right where I want it and so that it stays that way. These are all hot glued together. That's how they look on the end. Here's the top. Here's the bottom with the back. And now we want to play around with some ribbons and pearls and jewelry pieces or whatever. We may have silk flowers and see what we like best. We're going to see what looks better over this pattern. I'm tying another knot right there in the center. But first, I'm crossing the other ribbon through there. Then making bows with each piece. This is not wired ribbon. I think the wired ribbon is a little easier to work with. decoupaged books complete with the dry brush technique, some tea stain dyed tool, ribbon, some pearls, and thank you so much you guys for subscribing. I really appreciate that. I am certainly willing to help you out with any questions you have. Feel free to comment and once again, my name is Patty Elhoff. I'm the author of Upcycle with Decoupage. I'll be back next week with another decoupage project. Bye-bye.